A new Nicktoons crossover is here, but it comes with a disappointing twist. The voice actors you loved from your childhood have been replaced. So to understand what this new Nickelodeon crossover is, you have to be familiar with Smite. It's this free-to-play multiplayer game where you go around destroying enemies. Simple enough. Over the years, Smite has teamed up with a variety of franchises, so familiar characters in the game, and you get to play as them. Whoa! It's a marketing tactic to keep interest alive. Well, that's where old school Nick joins the fun. Early July revealed that several classic characters are making a comeback here with this fun cinematic to go along with it. Watching Invader Zim, Danny Phantom, and Rocco on the same screen at once, it's always pretty cool. If you knew nothing about the Nick Smite crossover, you'd probably appreciate this a lot more. Do a bit of digging though, and that opinion might change. If at any point, the voices of these characters sounded weird, or a little off to you? It's not just your imagination. Turns out that all the original voice actors were replaced by soundalikes. We can confirm this on Smite's website. Listing Andrew Russell as Invader Zim, Jenny Okabori as XJ9, and you get the idea. It's not the same people as before. Zim's voice actor Richard Horvitz went on Twitter, revealing what's going on. For the record, Smite made a licensing deal with Nickelodeon for the use of Nick characters including Zim. Smite would not go union and Nickelodeon allowed this. Not only is it offensive, it is disrespectful. Make no mistake, the Zim skin is not me. Now the show's creator, Jonan Vasquez, isn't happy about the situation either. Not only that, but Gurr's voice actor came forward with an even more disappointing message. I wasn't even contacted to voice Garen this. I wasn't even an afterthought. I'm not dead, am I? Oh no. But this is sadly not surprising, considering we've never been paid streaming residuals on the Enter the Florpus movie, regardless of the fact that it came out three years ago. Let me be clear. The people who took over the roles in this cinematic do a genuinely good job at imitating the original voices. My problem isn't with the new actors because it's not their fault. My real problem is how much disrespect goes around in the industry when it comes to voice actors in general. Keep in mind, this is their job. They need to pay bills, and taking roles away from them makes things a lot harder. Maybe sometime in the future, these people will get the respect they deserve. In this situation, what we can do is support the people who brought these characters to life. Anyway, what do you think about the Nick Smite crossover? Should they have gotten the original voice actors? Let's talk in the comments. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.